summer school hooligans. So excited to have you here in class today. With 4th of July coming up, we're all gonna write a fictional essay about how the 4th of July actually happened. Yeah, so you guys to partner up and I need that essay on my desk by the end of the day or else, or, or else you won't get chocolate cupcakes because I brought chocolate cupcakes for y'all. All right, all right, see so you guys like Get that essay done, yeah. Hey, stop throwing paper airplanes. Well, I guess we're partners. Man, I hate writing in fake. I know. I can never write in fake. You know, maybe if we had an IQ of 162, that, we wouldn't have this problem. That way we wouldn't have to do any of our work because it's already done. Yeah, but we don't. I know normal <sighs> high schoolers do, but oh well. Wait, I think I have an idea. Ah, oh, it's just a fine day to sign the Declaration of Independence on this July 4th, 1796. 1776. Ah. This shall create American freedom all over this grand new land. I brought cupcakes, everyone! Ooh, cupcakes. Oh. oh, man. Today shall forever be known as Cupcake Day. Cupcake Day. Delicious. Yeah, that's good and all, but like, how does Cupcake Day turn into the 4th of July? It gets lost in translation. They're all like, hey, huh? Okay, um, I think I have a better idea than that one. Oh, okay. Boston Underground, 1776. It was the fight of the century between Horace Head Nick Fisticuffs and Rage in July. Rage in July was the toughest fighter in all the province. No one had ever amounted to him and won. Horace Head was hitting him with everything he had, but eventually he got tired. Rage in July, he never got tired of blocking it, so he took the swing. One hit. Two hit. Three hits. And a fourth final hit, knocking him cold to the ground. It was that final hit that trampled Horsehead McFisticuffs down. That fourth raging hit. The fourth of July. Oh yeah, I like it. Because of the whole, like, you know, fourth of July battle. Like, you know. Oh no, yeah. it, it happened on October 17th. Oh. So, so after I July mean, 4th? Or before, depending on how you look at it. Here. Wait. Are you thinking what no. I'm thinking? I'm pretty sure you are. I'm pretty sure you are. Yes! yes! Ah. Knock, knock, Johnny boy. Oh my god. Ah! Hey. Where am I? Johnny, your independence wants us money. We've given you time. We've given you places. We, we have been so lenient to you. Honestly, I like you. I'm cool with you. You're a cool guy. But we need our money. You can't just let anybody just take money whenever they want without giving it back. That's not how we roll. Look, honestly, this wasn't my idea. This was all independence. I don't want to do this. I like you, Johnny. I like you. This wasn't my idea. Tell independence or give me more time. I need more time. We've given you time and time again. And honestly, you've come up with nothing. You've kind of used us. And honestly, I'm a bit hurt right now. I need more time. No. Come on. I have a family. This wasn't my idea. I I won't have to do this. Yeah, it's me, Tony. No, I, uh, I capped him. It's good. Say, hey, I had an idea. What if, like, every year of this day, we all got together, ate hot dogs, cooked out, stuff like that, shot fireworks or something, and just celebrated the great American dream? Called the 4th of July, I don't know. It, hey, hey, or it can be named after you. We call it Independence Day. I mean, yeah, it sounds like a good idea to me, too. That's why I, that's why I made the idea. Hey, Tony, I know you just killed me. That's a really good hey, idea. Hey, man, shut up. I thought I killed you. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming to dinner with your wife. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, I love grading papers. Oh, let's see what we got. Benjamin Franklin and the Dinosaur War. A plus. George Washington was Jewish. A plus. Mom! What? Why did the electricity go out? I didn't pay the bill! Well, why the freak not? Because I didn't feel like it! Mom! I'm trying to grade papers and create a living for myself while you sit on your bum and watch soap operas! Well, maybe if you were a 45 year old man living in my basement being a bum, we wouldn't have this problem. Mommy! Uh... What? 
Never mind. The gunman. Ren Hinnerer. Huh. That's horrible.